everybody and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3 where I am freaking I'm getting roasted like I don't know if I wasn't supposed to go down there yet I think I was I think I'm just bad at the game but that's okay it's okay also I want to say I think my clothing looks amazing I really really love this this is like I, I also kind of like honestly how it's like a man could wear this or a woman could wear this, you know? Like, it's not, it probably doesn't matter. It's like, oh, it's not like I'm in, like, my bikini while I'm hanging out at camp, you know? This is paladin clothes. This is paladin underclothes. This is, like, casual camp clothes. And I love the v-neck thing, and I love these pants. I just think we look really good. He looks, like, silly. He looks super silly. Uh, okay, so she's in a bra, but she's in, like, a leather bra. And, uh, also she'll kill me if I say anything about it, so. <laughs> to ask. She's got a cool tent inside us, and you think to be idle. Listen, I'm tired. I knew your kind to be fragile, but I didn't foresee the severity. Be quick about your rest. We must locate a crash. Why are you still covered in blood? What? Take a take a shower. Take. I think I have blood on my face still too. Gall, I am so beautiful. Look at look at this. Look at this. I am. Gar. I'm so good at this video game. It doesn't even matter if I can't click the buttons right. Um, we need to pace ourselves. Don't you know an exhausted warrior is an ineffective one? A thick-headed notion in a complex circumstance. Do you suppose the parasites inside us dare to rest? That the Geich do not still pursue us with each peal of the bell? Take your rest. I will stand watch. Should a single tentacle split your skull... I will not hesitate to end you. I mean, that is preferable. <laughs> I do like seeing the shock on my face. Like, I like seeing my... Speak. The, the face, my character's face animate a little bit. Um, look at, I uh, just, oh, what? I did such a good job. Never mind, I guess. You were the one who wanted to talk to me. Stained towels pile. I, why did I pick that up? I don't, I don't want to hold that. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Interesting. She's got like a nice, um, little camp setup. Is that a, it is an actual stuffed ogre's head. That's horrifying. She carries this around with her? Please. I need to go she over my inventory step. when I have half a second, but I don't right now. Friends call to me. I like that they each have their own like unique little setup. That's so cute. Also, I think it's hilarious he's using a telescope underground. <laughs> this looks like the Twitch stuff. Go to hell. Uh, me? Um was there anything <laughs> I like how she's like <laughs> Was there anything in particular I did to deserve such a greeting? Oh, nothing. Nothing. I'm just poorly making a point. Go to hell. An everyday expression. So trivial it's almost meaningless. But we've seen hell. It's real. And it isn't trivial. If by hell you mean the actual hell. Like we did see the actual hell. But we've also seen metaphorical hell. You sound, uh, no, okay, I'll be, what's on your mind, Gail? Devils, dragons, mind flayers. I look so good, look at they me. They used to be abstracts. Look at this butt. Pictures <laughs> on a piece of paper. <laughs> what a difference a day makes. Now we have tadpoles slithering through our heads like carnivorous feti. That's an interesting way to put it. That's not abstract. No, it's not. <laughs> Um, <laughs> we're deep in, you know what, I'm a paladin, I don't swear. <laughs> um, God, what do I want? We are not like a super broody paladin, but we are action oriented, but she's also like, she's well read. So we're not like, just like too like brutish about things. Um. 
And this just seems like pushing it off. It's like, yeah, you need rest, but obviously you also need to talk to somebody. What can I say but that you're right? We're deep in New York. You know what. Point well made. I see. I'll wake you bright and early. We'll need to find a healer before the wee one gets hungry. I don't know. Maybe I'm like totally doing these conversations all wrong. I spy with my little eye. <laughs> Nothing of note, really. <laughs> Can I? Just, I don't want to pick it up if I poke it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I will light your stuff. I don't want to pick that up. Like, I don't know why. Uh, hang on. Okay, I won't drop these towels next to you. I'm gonna drop these stained towels back at her. If I can. <gasps> I have underwear! Wait, no. Why do I have everybody's underwear? <laughs> LaSalle's underwear, built for function rather than fun. Uh, if that's what they look like, that does not look like function. Energy crackles around these. Gail wouldn't. Surely he didn't enchant his. Why do I have everybody's underwear? If pants could brood, oh my gosh. This is my underwear. It's purple. Why? Why can I? <laughs> I actually... Yeah, perfect for ambling around a campsite and doing this. Around. I think the Twitch stuff honestly looks super dumb i think it looks really silly and i was like nope abs oh and what was dang it what was the name of one of them the name of the boots or something or the name of the boots were like so dumb i was like i refuse to see that in my inventory um get it out i don't want it she can have it back I am so stunningly beautiful. How do I even stand myself? An hourglass. Hmm, I mean, I'll take that. I guess. I mean, I could see that being useful. There are some things where I'm like, okay, maybe this would be useful to have around. There are obviously things I could probably sell, but. I am not. Too worried about it. what does this do? It's a cracked wall. Dang it! <laughs> Just sitting there like a nerd. Doing the rounds, are you? You'd better get some rest. I love hers. Oh my what gosh! What are you two talking about? I really love her camp outfit. Holy cow! That looks amazing. Uh. We were just discussing the next step, and I know she sounds like accusatory. I see. I'd be careful with Lazelle. Okay. Um. You don't trust Lazelle? She's not of this world. I'd be surprised if our interests remained aligned. Let's hope we rapidly find a healer. You I look so distraught. Are. I think you know how important it is that we find someone who can cure us. Best if we focus on that. Well, I'm glad I seem reliable. Um, the sooner we find someone to help us, the better. Good. We might even get lucky and find one right away. As I see it, we're overdue some good fortune. Rest well. Why aren't our gods helping? Crazy how they don't really help when they're needed. They're just kind of there on occasion under specific circumstances. Um, why can't I have a nice tent? I can only get, I get the bedroll. I want I want a nice tent. I mean, I now I'm I'm kind of curious if I can like repeat. Nazel has a dangerous look in her eyes. Oh my gosh. Let's just hope she reserves those impulses for any common foes. Oh, uh, let's get to know Must each other. We? No harm in a little mystery, don't you think? Mm. 
Well, I'll be nice. If you're not comfortable, I won't press Thank you. Thank you. I'm sure we'll get along perfectly well. That worked. Okay. Talk Fine. About... What's on your mind? Uh... I must admit, you mm -hmm. besides, you saved my life aboard the Nautilus. Bye. How can I do? Okay. Uh, well, that worked. Uh, so apparently, respecting Shadowheart's boundaries is an important part of her character. The getting along with her. I don't know. I was under the impression Shadow Heart was harder. joining to... our company. Why is everybody a collaboration? I'd have anticipated, but a welcome one nonetheless. I hear. I hear her sharpening her blade over there. Um. No one's really making a fuss about me being a drow. Let's see. I hail from Waterdeep, city of splendors. I am a wizard of considerable acclaim and scholar of exceptional accomplishment. Exceptional. <laughs> I have a cat, a library, and a weakness for a good glass. I of knew wine. he reminded me of answer, Anders. Me, I'm known to try my hand at poetry. I knew it. He reminds yeah. me of Anders. Also, so this means that he wants to eventually blow something up. That's exact. Okay, that's what I'm. Yeah, if if we're going on the Anders route, this guy has like he's very charming. He's very charming, but there's something. There's like a bigger goal in mind, like a big goal, a big big goal in mind. Um. Don't stop there. You must have many stories about your adventures as an archmage. Didn't that paint enough of a picture? Wisdom, try. That's not. No, I don't want to. I don't want to pry. Okay, I think I'm. He doesn't. He doesn't want me to pry either. Like he tells me vague things, but he doesn't want me to. Um, can I have that? <sighs> what that? Rotten. Mu nope, I don't want it. Don't. Want, why do you have rotten mushrooms, my guy? Um. Okay. Yeah, prying would be rude, especially if I failed. They would know. Use the required amount of camp supplies to fully reco rest, recovering all your hit points, spell slots, and short rest. Not using enough camp supplies will only partially recover your resources. Um, auto select. Okay, I was like, I don't know what you need. So okay, so the forty. Okay, but I could just use like a camp supplies, but I feel like it might be a good idea to save those and just use these other ones. Oh, so they have, like, their little private spaces, but we all sleep right here. <sighs> Do we all share dreams? Because, uh... We have, we're all connected by our brains. Oh, before we go anywhere, let me... Jeez Louise. Oh, they get to wander around, then I'm just gonna wait. That's cool. Okay. AC 16. Woo. Okay. I want to look at weapons, please. Yes. Type. I don't have any other shields. Yeah, I know. I recognize that. I, I saw the leave camp button. I'm such a big girl. It'd be so funny to see me with a rapier. Oh, so I impose disadvantage on an attack against your allies when I'm when I'm within one and a half meters. I thought for some reason I'd like take the hit. Oh, I have super. Oh yes, I have superior dark vision because I'm a drow. All the drow have superior dark vision. I think actually the loth ones are even more. Why? So okay, so I I can't. Maybe go to each person individually? That does not seem... I do not like that. Yeah, I don't like that. If that is the case. <laughs> the Great Club has tenacity. When you miss an attack, you deal two bludgeoning damage anyway. <laughs> just, just because. Okay, I can click. Okay, I, I absentmindedly clicked on her. And 
So they were both in the civil militia? She's a martial prodigy. Okay. Oh, she's got two-handed. Awesome. Which way to the nearest library? Library, what a nerd. I crave blood. I'm gonna it for the hammer. But we do have somebody... Oh no, maybe she doesn't have this. She has a sword and a mace. She's a cleric, I guess. Alright, I think everybody's starting gear is better than whatever is going on here. I oh, do wish, though... Is there a way... Wits and blades always shut. I'm assuming I can't change my spells until the next level. Oh no, we can't. Okay. I thought we could change it on the rest. Alright, as far as I know, I don't know what we're gonna do. Okay. Did we just like bust out <laughs> the door? Okay, so we finished the fight. But there was ostensibly still more to be looking at. Step. There are What's inside? books. Death and Divinity, a godly guide. Can I read these? I noticed I have my paladin oaths. Send that to Gale because he's a nerd. Where did my where did the book go? The other book that I just picked up. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. I shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. That's adorable. Okay. Read. Oh, we do get to read. Death is too powerful a force for even a single god to contain it. It is a duty that has been passed from hand to hand, splintered into smaller pieces, disease, war, funeral rites, but there must always be an overseer of the cycle of life as the cycle of life falls away. For countless eons it was Jurgle, the lord of the end of everything, presided over mortality with his unblinking stare until even he grew weary. Young Baal, Bane, and Miracle must have thought themselves conquerors when they came for the god of death, yet he used their ambitions to free himself. Miracle claimed primacy over death from Jurgle's bargain, but even he does not rule death alone. What is murder if not the most violent of deaths, seized by, seized by Baal and his incessant greed? What need would there be for noble Kelimvor to pa judge passing souls if one deity could process the entire? Even gods can die after all. After all, those who worship death should remember that above all else. See, again, this is something that I feel like would sort of contribute to a. Uh, to potential oathbreaker stuff. Old weary tome is penned in the heavy hand of a dutiful soul. You have sworn an oath, Paladin, a promise to uphold your tenants at any time and at any cost. It is a weighty destiny, but one is one. Of, it is one your beleaguered shoulders must bear, lest you falter and warp into the most avarice being indeed. Remember your tenants, Paladin. Remember your purpose. Remember your promise. Oath of the Ancients. The morning dew clings to the glade grass. The calling bird hawks the rising sun. The glimmer of dawnlight ambles across the breaking tide. It is all perfect, and it is your perfect duty to protect it. It is the joy of existence and the basking glory of creation that you must hold close to your heart. Never let it slip, Paladin. Never let it be taken. Yes, these are the different oaths. I wonder. I wonder if they're gonna leave. If they're gonna add more at some point. That would be cool. Okay, well, we're definitely gonna look at the books. A good hero. Hope. Sturdily bound book of a cleric of Shar whose soul was never claimed from the city of judgment. In, her, in life, her service had been impeccable. Daily did she devote herself to the Lady of Lost. Daily did she free herself from the tyranny of memory. All in time was lost to her, her relations, her preferences, even her own name. Upon the altar of devo her devotion, she placed the ultimate offering, her emptied mind. And when she died, when she awoke in death and found herself standing in the pale and faded city of judgment, she waited for the Lady of Lost to retrieve her. A million souls and more passed her in colorless gusts, but no hand materialized in her hand. No voice whispered instruction in her ear. No guidance proffered itself from the bleached and barren sky. Time and material time passed around her like air coming and going. And still, the goddess did not come for her devotee. 
Kelimvor pitied her as much as the Lord of the Dead is able, but could not intervene. This cleric of the Lady of Loss, unclaimed despite her worthiness, might yet have one more lesson to learn. That not of forgetting, but of being forgotten. See, this is why, guys, this is like, this is like, all these, these things are like totally... These are things that she would have been researching, like not necessarily like this, but this is stuff she would have come across in her, like in her readings and her studies, her religious studies or kind of studies, like all this stuff, like you know, myth, you know, all that. And this kind of stuff would add up. It's like, are the gods worth the effort we put into them? You know. But I also can't say that like the tenets of being a paladin are not worth it. You know, like. Uh, look, look, look. Death and Divinity, a godly guide. Death is too powerful. Oh, no, we already have that. Yeah, okay. Uh, well, I'll take it and we can sell it. Perfect. I want to keep most of them, but if I have, uh, if I have copies, I will sell the copies. Another thing, the same. Oops. Uh, rustic chest. Plate and bowl. I don't know what plate and bowl is gonna do me, but I've got it. If not chapel, then three. Chapel. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Death and divinity. Ooh, eyewitness account of the. Wait, crisis? The ball spawn crisis. The guild seal on the inside of the cover belongs to a Britman King collective in Polar's Gate. Of course I remember. No, the second that girl was walking, that she'd be trouble. Little thief always in everyone's business, and that ward of glory went right along with her. No surprise that wicked God's blood was running in their veins. Saravak and his law are always the first one that come to mind. You know this all started with a bit of iron in Ashkal. Everyone thought their weapons would rot out of their hands. Back then I thought the problem was bad trade. Never took the man for a son of Baal. You dare speak that name to me? My mistress was turned to ash, fighting those forsaken wretches. I curse Baal, I curse Irenicus, and I curse you. Eh. Hostile vampire. In the slums. The five tore tether to pieces. I don't think anyone expected more ball spawn showing up would fix the war that a pack of them started. Then again, they were all inclined to killing each other, eh? Good riddance. They're hoping every last one of them has been wiped off the face of Faerun. I wonder, is ball spawn like a, like a tiefling type thing? Like, tieflings are just, they're like the results of like, but I think they're like a demon? Or are they a devil? Like a blood pack thing from way back. I'm not authorized to be talking about any murder with someone like you. Take it up to the sea tower if you want to argue, but honestly, who cares if a ball spawn got it stuck to them? Their father is the killing type, after all. From Baldur's. Several more interviews follow most of them. Terse. Okay, okay. It's always good. The curse of the vampire. The cover is inscribed with every holy symbol you've ever seen, and some you haven't. Harken close and beware the vampire. Beware its cold beauty. Beware its charm. Beware its curse. Above all, beware the pale noble. For the vampire cannot bear to be of the common folk. So they're like, wor worry about the white nobility. <laughs> if they're white and noble, they might be a vampire. How doth one protect from the beast? Walk not in blackest night, for the vampire loves these nights more than any other. If you must walk, do so by the light of our moon and take care. Carry the blessings and marks of your god at all times, but remember your home is a fortress if protected well. If you hear a knock in the night, be wary. Let no stranger into your home. If it be a friend, look upon them. Do you find them pallid and wan? Do you see any marks upon their necks? Do you see any dirt upon their clothes? Unless their need is great, turn away all but the most trusted. And if the beast finds a way into your home, flee. Leave love and family behind. You will not save them if you fight. You will not see them again, but they will see you, pale and smiling, calling them into the night. This seems a little overblown, honestly. Immortal view, eyewitness, oh, we already said that, the unclaimed, yep, yep, yep. Gonna get make so much money selling books. I hope there's like passive perception stuff going on here. 
This text is ancient. A dedication to a forgotten god. We're talking. It looks like the book over there, the one that we saw, was talking about a that god or. Look. What? What might be worth a look? Oh, that? Oh, we do have passive perception stuff going on. <gasps> Light it on fire. All right, poke it. Oh. Um. That opened a door somewhere and it also screamed at me. Better not be cursed. Oh, get the chapel records. Fine dust coats the pages of this weathered book. Beneath the bone white powder, hundreds of short obituaries are recorded in tiny script. Drowning, internal rot, fever. These look like the gods they worshipped, potentially? Or no. Just like, just people. Just pairs of people dying of similar things. Okay. Oops. Ooh, that tat. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. She holds that stupidly. Very stupidly. <laughs> at least in my mind. I don't think you would hold it like that. Book of the Final Breath. Where? Huh? Dense rows of scrawled text. A few legible entries seem to detail the names and final words of numerous individuals. Come see this. It's mo- <laughs> Laboratory explosion. Hmm? Roth caress where laden in a winter never winter alley. You're blocking my light. Donna Ree, water watered Havian feather long. Is that the that's what killed her? Well you're blocking my light with somebody leaning over while they were dying? This is hilarious and sad, but hilarious also. Interesting, that actually kind of reminds me of, um, what do you call it, uh, in Brandon Sanderson's books, there was, okay, so it comes pre-lit, perfect. Um, at one point there was a series, one of the books, where there's like, they, they are tracking like the death is it like the death? Yeah, upon someone's final moments, they like get these strange, um, like, I don't know, like, uh, like, like lines that seem to come from beyond them somewhere. Who are those prayers for? Normally the patron god is obvious, not here. We just, that was way over there that we had that discussion. Or the look at. Like the, the look about that included that. Portrait of Fane? That was who that was who I really, really liked in uh Oh my gosh. Excruciatingly precise lines bring his portrait's undead subject to life. Despite his empty eye sockets, you could almost swear his gaze follows you judgmentally. I actually played Fane in Divinity. I didn't make my own character. I started playing Fane because I thought he was the coolest, and I'm in love with him. He is my true love in that game. Carafe of water. Sure, I'll take that. As long as it can be of some use to me. I do want the cheese. I'm, I'm picking up the water and the milk and the cheese. because Oh, a supply pack, too. Because I am apparently supposed to, like, you know, eat and drink at camp like a nerd. Take the... I gotta... I gotta take all of it. I'm just hitting the take all even if there's nothing in there. Ancient, indecipherable text covers the plaque. A dead tongue. Whoever worshipped here must be long gone. There's the vampire again. They really didn't have a ton of a uh, ton of op reading options here. A candle. You can inflict burning with the candle. Okay. Not bad. I've had better days, and worse ones. Positive attitude, I love it. This mass-produced book has a cheap Im imitation of Baal's symbol stamped under the cover.
Yeah, I am making sure I hit as many corners as I can just in case there are. The cowboy hat? My friend showed a picture of us, of him walking around in a cowboy hat. Breezy sandals. Or three gold? I mean, sure. Yes. Oh, I didn't loot you. I was like, why are you glowing red? A key. Guarding the entrance of a cliffside chapel. Oh, it must be for the door over here. Or maybe... No, yeah, this must be the door that led in the normal way if we hadn't uh, found the broken way. Well, used bandit's key. Explore the ruins. Investigate the ruins. Well, yeah. What, what, what was the secret lever? Dank crypt. Explore the ruins, yay. There are bound to be some interesting artifacts down here and we should leave them be. Because we don't steal artifacts. Kids. This place wasn't built for the living. Uh, okay. I'll trust you since you're a well-read paladin. But if anybody else said that, I'd be like, how do you know that? Listen, this is a video game I have to loot in order to make money. An excerpt from the ongoing meta text, rebound by Isofa Elgin, a scholar excommunicated from the Church of Denier for her heretical efforts to re reconstruct the meta text. Her gods and all have lost in hidden knowledge. Of what value is a life? Far too esoteric a topic to warrant any serious critical consideration between these pages, surely, or so it would seem at first glance. But once we push aside the mysticism and dewy-eyed sentiment so often clouding our assessment, it is clear that across all the spinning planes, each and every life does indeed have a quantifiable value. It is simply that not not all are equally valuable. Ooh, this sounds not great. Consider, we already know that the destruction of our material form is not the end. If anything, our souls are more free after death. Transcending planar barriers in search of a resting place that befits that best befits our deeds, beliefs, and station in life. But even this assessment is subject to market forces. Lord Kelimvor weighing our souls against how thoroughly we have given them over to other gods, empowering them in turn. There is, of course, an alternative, an alternate route, not the end of the path but the chance to retread it. Clerics across the realms build the power to return life to any soul deemed worthy or willing enough. It is strange, and that the, the, these so frequently intersect with those deemed wealthy enough, for the components of such a spell are beyond the means of most mortals. I have so it's not strange. <laughs> if you just gotta have the money for it. I have interviewed those who have made such a return, and in truth have found them to be of the most dull and unimaginative sort that I cannot possibly imagine what it is they were so eager to return to. If a true assessment of the journey is to be made, then there is simply no replacement for embarking upon it oneself. Perhaps one day, this great volume of learning will make me worthy enough to walk that path, and wealthy enough to return. Interesting way to look at it. She's not wrong, though. Opulent chest. Ooh, sapphire necklaces are popular among Baldur's Gate patriarchs as morning guard. The heavy teardrop shaped stones represent the weight of their loss. Hello, hello. Ooh, a tomb. Oh my gosh, a tomb. Step carefully. Oh jeez. There's a trap. Can I disarm it? I did just walk over it. Try. Whew, okay. Like, I'm not really a roguish type. Aye. Aye. Watch how you go. There's a trap. Oh my gosh. There's a trap in the sarcophagus. Okay, we're gonna use it on the... Is that... Oh, cool! 
so this is why this is kind of... I was like, you, this is not something you can cast in battle, but this is how you can use it. I do want to use the trap disarm kit, but I don't... Oh, I see. It will break... Oh, so the fact that I can even do it is because I have... It. Okay, I see. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh. oh, I'm so glad I did that. Oh, thank you, Shadowheart. I should maybe be having somebody else do this because a sleight of hand is a dexterity check and I have sucky dexterity. What's your How dexterity? Can I help? Whoa, I forgot that clicking on you would make you talk to me. Um, character sheet. Let's see. Everybody has a higher dex than I do. <laughs> yep, I'll make anybody else do it besides me. Next time. Oh jeez, get some bones. <gasps> a great axe. Is that a? That's a, that's a, I'm like that's a cursed thing. Strange, incomprehensible whispers emanate from this coin, pervading your mind with rage and despair. These coins can power infernal energy. Strange coin. Cool. Wonder what it's worth. Yikes. Can't afford to stay idle. I'd better take a peek. Best avoid that trap. Yeah, I see. I'm having you go around. Oh, no, no, no. Be careful. Okay. Uh! Oh, that was a crit fail. Oh, no. Use inspiration. Sure, okay. Yeah, I don't want to... Uh... At least not a crit fail. Please. Okay, we stiff it. Cool beans. All right, never mind. Why? Why? Why is she bad? And I'm not. <laughs> I will get to that. Um, I will get to that main sarcophagus. Just want to make sure. Oh jeez. This place oh, is Oh jeez. <gasps> Ringmail armor. This looks cool. Oh, um, what to do? I'll take it. I think it's the same. I think it's the same, like, what do you call, like, uh, armor class, but it's cooler armor. Yep. And it was medium. This is heavy. Ho ho. No AC bonus from Dexterity. This one gave me a... Well, it was limited to plus two, but I don't think I got a bonus. Excellent. We love free stuff. There's a button. Be wary. This place oh is my. Trapped. Gosh. <gasps> That's right, my trap disarm thing failed... Be broke because she failed. Wonder if the gods are watching me. Cause she sucks. Step care shadow heart. There's a trust. Yeah, there's another one. And another one. Anything of use? Right. Ooh. Is it a dagger? Death's promise. Oh, it's a spear. When the spear misses its target, the bleeder's next attack roll against that target gains true strike. Time has dampened the spear's sheen, but the center glows a faint blue. The magic it exudes feels old, terrible, and divine. The spear was given to its previous owner for his unerring loyalty, even after death. Will encumber me, because I am faith will guide me. very full. Well, this way... Is probably what the key is for. <gasps> the key... Or do I have the key? I thought we would just all be able to access the key. Hmm. I lock love the pick. sound of lock picking. 
Oh, jeez. So, okay. Oh, jeez. Dang, okay. I just added a bunch of stuff. This is, um... Oh, baby. Whoo! I was, I have Gale do it. Uh, with all, the, apparently he has like a knowledge bonus and like, she gave him the spell bonus. And eh? All that work was just to get back outside. This is the part where I normally say thank you to my patrons while I'm recording the video, but this is editing squirrel because there was a recent change to patron stuff, uh, to patron people. So I'm paying attention and I'm including that. So really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to every single one of you, including the acorns. Thank you so much, Adam, for your support at the acorn tier patron. And thank you so much, Fane, for your support at the acorn tier patron level. Uh, and I want to give a special shout out to Reese Galito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. You've been supportive for a very long time and I appreciate that. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, who is my forest tier patron and has gone above and beyond in his support of the channel for a long time now and who is just super supportive and super wonderful and comments all the time. I really appreciate you a lot. I hope you know that. So thank you all again for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.